Good evening. <laughs> I'll let you finish. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done making me laugh? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done or are you finished? I'm just not getting started. <sighs> just imagine when we have a child, guys. Girl, just let your hair down Let's paint the whole town Life is our playground, yeah But I'm not a kid no more So I must open doors And make you feel like the lady you are My mama raised me to be classy, not flashy I'm happy to please you Though I can tell that's not what you're used to Like you deserve it There's no pressure We can do whatever makes you comfortable Yeah I could float your boat Go take my coat I'll sing a music note From the song that I just wrote Girl, just take my hand And let me be a man Though that's not what you're used to And they say Hello again, my changers. So, welcome to our evening. Um, this video is going to be about the pros and cons of choosing a sperm donor. Because it ain't easy. So, I think the first is pretty obvious with the we don't have to I don't I don't want to sound mean when I say this but we won't have to deal with the paperwork behind dealing with a known donor we won't have to worry about future I guess custody if anything were to happen um and like just the overall complicatedness of officially, you know, like whatever the known donor would have to do as far as like either like signing over rights or anything like that. We won't have to do. So another thing that's pretty cool about using a donor website is that you get to pretty much choose what you want. Whether you want to have a white baby, a black baby, a Japanese. Um, some websites let you do eye color, hair color. Um, it's just the list goes on and on. So um, being able to genetically alter. Like obviously you know that my, my wife Maribel is Mexican. And I'm obviously black. So using a donor website we are able to put in that we want a black donor with dark hair and whatever so babe what do you think is the positive of using a donor well not a donor but a sperm bank we don't have to go and look for the donor mm -hmm. That's all you got? You didn't want to see what you said earlier? About going down to Austin and having a one night stand? <laughs> I mean, if that's what I have to do, <clears throat> then I'll have to go to Austin. Mm -hmm. 
have to do that. I'll have to put my lesbian tendencies aside. Yeah. Take one for the team. Yeah. Again. You know, I, no, because then that's going to... Another good thing about using a um, donor website is that they have to go through a lot of medical testing. Now, they don't get, obviously, everything medically tested, but they get, like, the basics, like, obviously, you know, STDs, infectious blood diseases that can be passed on to the child and things like that. So, that would eliminate one stress off of you, especially, you know, with me and my wife being in a same-sex um, marriage, we wouldn't have to sit here and worry about if a known donor had any diseases or any health issues that we needed to know about. So, to start the cons of going to a sperm bank is for money. You're 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 pretty much paying for the genetics that you want. So, yeah, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but there are just some sperm clinics that are just like ridiculously expensive. Another thing that is kind of a con is when you choose someone hoping that when you are ready to buy, they're still there because a lot of the times they will run out and you get put on a waiting list and unless you are ready to come, buy sure. yeah it's like like my wife said like a first come first serve like when you're looking you have to be ready to buy at that moment like you can't kind of browse and then be like okay so I'm gonna come back such and such time because they might not be there and then if you're if they're not there and you're wanting to do this like around a certain um time frame then you're gonna have to wait then you get put on a waiting list and then you better hope that when they give you the email saying that they're ready you're ready so i would definitely say that, that that's kind of a con because people like to shop ahead for that stuff I, I know it sounds kind of silly unless you know you've had to try to look for sperm before but that's not something that you can just up and do it's something that you know you need to be able to look browse your options and like I stated before like sperm is not cheap like you're looking at the least 795 going up to 1200 for a little bell of sperm, that is about yay big. No, sorry. There you go. About yay big. So, I mean, it just... Like I said, you have to be ready to buy. And if you're not ready to buy, you kind of got to hope that it's still there for you. And if it's not there for you, and you don't want to be on a waiting list, then you have to start the whole process over of finding a donor again so just like with um any other video that is out there like this there is obviously pros and cons of everything and whether you choose to use a known donor which a lot of people do or you choose to go to a, a sperm bank which a lot of people do um it just it's honestly it's a personal preference um that just honestly it, it depends on you there are some people who want to use a known donor who find it more convenient for them there are other people who want to only use a sperm bank just to eliminate all of the other potential threats if you will so we are going to go ahead and end it at that tonight i hope you guys found it I guess kind of informal. Um, I will be seeing you guys next Wednesday. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I am going to slap you. <laughs> you know, I'm about to make you start doing these ending intros. 
Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. And as always, be the change you want to see in the world.